And our cat has evolved into a... Look at the size of this thing! Hello, friends, and welcome back to Let's Play After the End, The Harvest. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. Uh, full, uh, more inf information about that, as well as a link to where you can find this game, are in the description down below. And my Canis Felina has gained a level and learned the skill Uppercut. I have a cat that knows how to uppercut somebody. That's amazing. Anyway, um... I left off last episode creating our battle plans to sort of go back to the Earth Assembly point and make it our base of operations. Sleep well? Come on. We have quite a long way to travel. I'll go get our new ship ready. Ooh, we're getting a ship. Get excited. I think it would be best if you took the wheel. Me? Really? You're going to have to learn how to fly sooner or later. That's a good point. Would you like to leave now? I'll join you soon. I'd like to check out the city a bit more, if you don't mind. I doubt the Anukai will let you into the hangar if you're alone. Come speak to me once you're ready, and I will accompany you there. Alright, uh, your first ship. That's our main quest. Speak to Apollo and board ship. Alright, we'll accept. Alright, we need to get... Oh, there we go. That screen. Get rid of that screen. Alright, let's go check out the city. Um, we're gonna get to our ship soon, but... I do want to check out that notice board and do the bar thing and there was something else. I don't remember what it was. I want to do those two jobs because I don't know. Don't interfere with my patrol. I didn't mean to, buddy. Uh, seems like there's some jobs I still need doing in this town. Yeah, I want to make sure I do those because I don't know if I'll ever end up coming back. You know what I mean? So let's do the bar staff. Wanted. Able-bodied guardians are equivalent for immediate security detail in the Anea nightclub. Please see Marina if you would like to apply for the position. Pansies need not apply. I'll accept it. Arena, uh, Anea bar marked on the ancient city map. Alright, awesome. And we'll also go ahead and X... Oopsie, not that one. Hi there. I actually don't want... Ugh. I know, I know, I know. Okay. I didn't mean to click on that one. Because we've already done that. So Harpy Talons. Harpies have been increasing in numbers recently. If you can provide proof of their extermination by providing three Harpy Talons, the Guardians will reimburse you for their for your effort. Peace, love, and stability for all. The Harpies must be dealt with before they take over any more ecosystems. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I have any. So we uh, probably can't do that. So I have a... Uh, mm, mm, nah, nah. How do I... Okay, there we go. So let's go to the bar and do that one. Uh, how do I change what side quest is showing? Is there a way to... Why am I firing? Okay, I'm gonna accidentally shoot somebody and this is gonna be a serious problem. Uh, items... No, I don't think it's under items. I'm not sure. Well, we'll go to the bar. It's over by the residential district, so we'll do a quick teleport. Uh, whoops, what, I, what did I just click on? That's not the one I meant to click on. Uh, we want... That was the... Oh, that's exactly where I am. We need to go to the residential district. And the egg, I believe, is just down here somewhere. Don't mind the glitch on screen. That happens occasionally. <laughs> Who are you? You here for the interview? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I read, uh, I read the ad. I'm interested in the work. Hmm. You don't really look like much. Oh, well. Let's start the interview. Take a seat, please. I'm gonna turn. On, I'm gonna turn my lantern if I can. There we go. Can't see. It's so dark. Good to see you can take orders. Plus one for you, sir. Any questions before we begin? I can't. I can't read past the side quest. What's this say? Small room, kind of empty. The boss here doesn't really encourage creative thinking. Just work. We don't want you walking around overstimulated, right? You might hurt an innocent. What's the job? Didn't you read the sign? You'll be working as a security guard for the club. Uh, I mean, for a while, because I'm going to be leaving soon. Not very bright, are you? Well, let's continue. 
good, okay? All you have to do is stand outside the club and decide who's allowed in. Wait. Do you have any fighting experience? I don't know what that says. I Oh, I'm a Titan Defender. <laughs> Let's say that. Well, I guess I'm what you'd call a Titan Defender. You? <laughs> ah, get out of here. Don't even waste my time, you filthy liar. Oh, the Defenders are all dead. Why do you think the Titans are rampaging all over the place? You know what? We're done here. Really? You're still here? You must really want this job, huh? I like your perseverance. Fine, I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Alright. The important thing to remember is that people who are underage aren't allowed inside the club. If we're found with underagers, then we can get into a lot of trouble. People have a habit of lying, so make sure to check everyone's ID. Well, what's the, what's the age? on this planet with this race. I don't know. Don't worry, you'll get a cut from the G each person pays. Any questions? Uh, let's begin. Before I say anything else that makes me look dumb. Is that the time I need to leave for my field duty? Let's get you started. I'll come check on you first chance I get. Alright. So we're deciding who gets in and out. Huh, it's been pretty quiet so far. Meh. This place doesn't seem any fancier than the human-run club, uh, club in space, are. Alright, who's this bald guy? Check his ID. Can I see your ID? You need to make sure you're not underage. Uh, certainly. Alright, seems to check out. Welcome and enjoy. Woo, we got 50 G's for that. Well, this is gonna make us some cash. I can finally get my drink on. That councilwoman of ours is a real slag. Um, check ID. Can I see your ID? ID? Don't you see who I am? Uh, no, I don't. Alright, seems to check out. Welcome and enjoy. They're getting little hearts. I wonder if people are, like, liking me. Am I gonna be walking around town and people are gonna be like, Hey, it's that guy, Anuel. He's super cool. Meh, this place doesn't seem any fancier. Hey, weren't you just here? All right, seems to check out. Everybody seems to be checking out. This is like the um, RPG Maker version of like Papers Please. We're like, <laughs> this is like Space Papers Please. Uh, we've seen you too before. Is it club owner on you? Well, shifts up. Come into the back office. Oh, okay. Take a seat, please. Oh, well, that was super easy. That was a super easy shift. Not bad. If we, need, if we need you again, we'll give you a buzz. Thanks for watching the bar. Oh, well, that was super easy money. Huh, sure. All right, well, we don't have any harpy talons, so let's go ahead and head back to the hotel, I think, to talk to Apollo, and then we'll go back to the hangar. Uh, I think this is the hotel, right? No, this is the egg. <sighs> I don't need to be at the egg. But we can go into the teleporter this way. Actually, wait a minute. Can I not go in that? Can I take some fuel from these? Hmm, it's locked. Because we stole some fuel from that one ship. Who are you? Are you selling these? Hopa Traveler's Companion. So tired. I don't think I can outrun the Guardians for much longer. I swear, I didn't mean to rob the Anukai shopkeeper. Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. Uh, what is this? Is this a thing? I don't know. It looks like a like some kind of rock that I can pick up or something, but maybe not. All right, well, if I go to the shopkeeper, I bet they'll be like, hey, some person stole from us. Can you figure out where they went? And I can be like, sure. I mean, that's, that's my guess. Alright, let's go back to the hotel. Let's go talk to Apollo. Let's go to the hangar. I'm not too interested in going to the shop right We have a lot of money, though. We, we could go to the shop. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see many more shops. Alright, uh, leave now. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go to the hangar. I'm ready to set up a base. 
Ta ta jeez! You two took your time! Hurry up and let's go! I know, I know, I had to go do a bar gig. Follow me to the ship and I shall teach you a few basic maneuvers. Oh, I forgot to do his voice. You don't seem to have a flashlight! I don't know how you manage this far without one! Press Q to toggle your flashlight on off. Flashlight unlocked! We should also think of some sort of name for the ship. Can't have a ship with no name! Oh, we got a flashlight now. And a lantern. We can switch between the two. Well, we'll, we'll keep using the lantern for now. Andromedus Teleport. Oh, oh, we can do a name. Uh, how about... What do we want to name our ship? Do we want to call it... We're going to call it the... Hang on. How do I backspace? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want it to be G... Uh, uh-oh. How do we backspace? Can we backspace? <laughs> I don't think we can. The good... Mm, mm, mon... Mon... Dead... Gah... <laughs> ass. Capital S. <laughs> the G Mondegs. The G Mondegs. Sure. It's the G Mondegs. <laughs> I un achieve unlocked. Oh, captain, my captain. All right, let's uh, let's board the ship. Let's let's board the ship. The G Mondegs. It's gained a level. All right, we have lift off. You can now fly your ship. Press D to call and lift your ship at any time. Different spaceship holes can be found within the galaxy. Holes have varying stats and features. Fuel is needed to fly. Fuel can be found in shops or in the environment. Flying without fuel is risky. If you're out, make sure you crash on land, not water. Press the arrow keys to control your ship. You can now fly your ship. Press D to call land. Okay. Spaceship unlocked. I suggest you practice flying for a moment. Awesome. Oh, there's a dude over here. I should have talked to the dude. All right, well, I'm practicing flying. It seems pretty easy. Can we uh, go out this door? No. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. The hangar door is open. Just fly through it to reach the surface of the planet. Awesome, we're doing it. I think. Oh, he opened it just now. Awesome, we're going. You can now leave the planet. Leave the edge of the planet to enter space. Space travel unlocked. Oh my goodness. We can just leave the planet. Oh, question mark. Yes? Is this another ship? What are What is this? Galactic Merchant! Greetings, Traveler! How can I help you? Uh, well, we, I don't think we need a ship repair. We have a little damage, but not much. Let's hit the shop. Barrel Bomb? Ooh, my goodness. So we can go to buy ammo for the Barrel Bomb ship weapon. Spaceship fuel. Whatever this is, he's too expensive for us. Is this a guy? I think that's a person. Is it a slave? Is this a slaver? Should we report this to the police? Ammunition for the spaceship missile launcher. A warp drive. Can't afford that. And what looks like some kind of cannon that we also cannot afford. So we'll just we'll just leave for now. Oh, what was that? Who was that? They're running away from us. What are you? Oh, it's some kind of bird. It's a giant chicken! I want a giant chicken. Well, I'm not on land, so I don't think I can. But I want a giant chicken. We're gonna have to come back. I guess I could have landed. I could have landed with D and chased after the chicken. Oh my god, black eye galaxy discovered. No oxygen present in atmosphere. Well, we don't plan on leaving the ship. Earth assembly point three marked on universal map. This ship's navigator seems to have accepted our coordinates. We should head for the EAP immediately. Universal map unlocked. On you well. Oh, we, we've received an advertisement from a trading station. Oh my gosh. Locate and enter the EAP. We're going to accept that mission. Oh. <laughs> Sending you the coordinates now. Why is Lenui, like, ca crackling? Isn't she on the ship with us? Trading station marked. All right. Well, we're going to accept this first. We need to locate and enter the EAP. This is the... Oh, this is the universal map. Oh, it's so big. Um, we're... 
that tiny speck that looks like a face. The AP is southeast. There's a place called Everest. Ever Everest. Centris on something. There's a merchant. Let's try to head straight for the EAP southeast of here. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's not fly into the sun though. That might be a problem. Is it out here somewhere? Black Eye Galaxy. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is actually kind of really neat. Um, oh, I, I think I missed it. I need to head back west a little bit and go south just a little bit and head straight out west. Ah, that must be it. That has to be it. Galactic Enforcers! This area is under jurisdiction of the Enforcers. Leave, or we will be forced to attack. Ah, we only have two options on you, Al. Destroy them, or try and dodge them and make your way into the EAP. Oh my, oh, oh my goodness, they are attacking. Okay, well, we're gonna do some shift strafing. Ha ha! We dodged them! Oh boy, those idiots didn't see what was coming. Alright, we're inside now, but if they follow us in here, we could be in some serious trouble. Can we land right here? Alright, we landed. Now, can I actually walk out? Oh, please don't be in space. Oh, okay. Oh no, an Adamus hybrid horde! They must have brought, been brought here by the enforcers to destroy any remaining security droids. Alright, Anuel, you're up again. I think the only option here is to kill. Once you're done, turn the power on. You should be able to turn it on from the captain's seat. Alright, we gotta turn on the power. Oh my goodness. Hey, if we're taking over this place... Why don't you try and catch some of these creatures? Once a creature's health is low, equip your primitive launcher and shoot! The EAP has a habitat simulator, so we should be able to care for them once the power is on. Alright, well we can try to capture some of them. But first, pew! Oh my god, oh my gosh, my cat's attacking! Dude, oh my gosh, my cat is such... Wow, so powerful! Okay, that was amazing. Well, I think the cat's killing things way too fast. We won't be able to capture anybody. Toxic meat. We found a flint. Maybe I don't want to capture one of them because my cat is pretty awesome. Just saying. I'm looking around to see if there's any more items. Oh, there is. Here's an item. Some flame arrows. I heard some noises that I didn't much care for. Oh, there's a thing over there. All right, well, we need to get the power back on. Can we walk through the... Oh, oh, ouch. Decontamination complete. Oh, we need to walk through it. I see. All right. Well, we, we've been decontaminated. Oh, 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 goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Time flies. Candace Felina has grown so much. Oh, look. The cat's bigger. Did it evolve? <laughs> Candace Felina gained a level. Well, excellent. What's happening? <laughs> It seems like it's grown into a fell collie. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks like a fox. Oh my goodness. Fell collie learned mud slap and magnetic switch. Well, we're killing these things way too fast to capture, so, um, yeah. So we didn't do that, but we're gonna turn the power on. I was gonna try to capture things, but everything happened so fast. I was just like, wow. I was just watching that cat do all the fighting for me. I love this cat. I'm glad we chose the cat. Searching for distress beacons. Distress beacon discovered, downloading coordinates. Well, we really don't need a distress beacon. We really need to turn the power back on. How do we do that? Oh, there's some items. Got some bullets, some actual bullets instead of flame arrows. We have a laser gun though, so I'm kind of like, you know. Oh, what are these things? Are they hostile? I don't think they're hostile. Oh, yes, they, they can be. All right, well, that was easy. They're hostile, but they have to, like, activate their flamethrower. They're like some sort of sentry. 
Well, if we're gonna turn the power back on, do we need to destroy them or do we want to keep them for our own? Is he considered primitive? Hang on, we're gonna try... The, okay, we did some damage. We're gonna equip... Um, is it under primary? Yes. Ooh, rusted flame line. Spear, partisan. Actually, the partisan and the rusted flame saber are both better than my sword. Okay, than my defender's blade. But defender's blade's better at defense and stuff. Okay, well, we're gonna equip the primitive launcher for now and try to use that. Did I capture him? I don't think I did. I think I missed. I missed. It's a little hard to aim, but that's okay. Oops, I, I, oops, I keep throwing... Uh, oh, a Firefox? What? <laughs> oh, this is... This is ridiculous. All right, we're, we're gonna do the Rusted Flame Saber. And our cat is evolved into a look at the size of this thing. My goodness. Well, I don't have to do any of the fighting. My Firefox. We, I wish we, if we could name our Firefox, I would totally call him Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer the Firefox. Or maybe Chrome. Blaze Hound has gained a level. I thought it was a Firefox. It's a Blaze Hound? Our cat's turned into a dog. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That is the most bizarre thing. Well, we're gonna go wreck some serious butt. Oh, I am just, these Adami's hybrids, I'm just destroying in a single hit. Blaze Hound learned Ground Pound. Oh, this is this is great. We need to do another Pokemon battle with Len with Lanui because we oh boy, we have to show this off. We have to show our Blaze Hound off. Is there anything over here? Nothing. Do I need to activate? What is this? EAP supply log. Day twenty-five. We have enough supplies to last us until the end of the year. Day number twenty-five. The habitat simulator should automatically nurture any creatures that we catch. Day 25. Still day 25. No doubles of creatures are permitted as it increases the risk of uncontrolled breeding. We must carefully not go over our daily ration limits. Day 25. We have enough. Okay. We read that. They made it 25 days. And then who knows what happened. Can I read this thing? No? Is this a door? I'm looking for the power. I need to turn on the power. Do I have a map to this place? I don't. I don't have a map. Whoopsie. That was the wrong button. Oh my goodness. Is it this yellow thing? I, I did this. This had a distress beacon. Okay. So that's how we get distress beacons. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to turn the power on. I've got a fuse though. Can I talk to Apollo or Lanui about this? They must, they must have been brought here by the enforcers. Blah blah blah. We already know that though, right? How do we turn the power on? We'll sprint our way over here. How do we get to that item? There's got to be a way. Oh no. Maybe it's not in this room after all. Is it one of these control panels? I don't think so. We killed stuff in here. We got loads of beds, so if we end up like having a like a huge crew of people, that would actually be really cool. Can I activate this? No, turn power on. 
but I just I just don't. Oh, here we go. Power supply. Oh, I need a power supply limited. Emergency power supply activated. Ah, there we go. There we go. I thought it was something to do with this. Yes, complete. Of course. Oh, there's green lights and stuff. The power is on, guys. Good work on you well. Together we may be able to make a difference. It would have been too difficult to maintain this place with just me and Apollo. Oh, that's Luna. It would have been just too difficult to maintain this place with just me and Apollo. I don't know. I don't think I'm that much help, guys. Now that we have more power, the teleporter should become active. EAP teleport times one. That will be handy in case you get stranded. Oh, so it brings us back here if we ever need to, like, escape rope our way out. We can finally view the last hollow recording. <gasps> hollow recording? All right. The hollow tape should load up any moment. EAP commander. Log 354. Oh, is it a woman? I, I'm out of woman voices. I'm, I'm going to keep doing. Log 354. Her. Still no sign of our defender. I'm a woman. Unuel was due to arrive over three weeks ago. This galaxy is so dangerous. I wish we could go back to the Milky Way. Oh no. Is that not now? No. Does any of this seem familiar to you, Unuel? No, it doesn't because I didn't make it here. The woman. I feel like I know her. Oh, I guess I do know her. Well, she certainly seems to know you. It is our understanding that the remaining humans perished after this holotape was broadcasted. It was more than likely one of the Titans. What exactly are Titans? Because I don't remember. Living, breathing, physical manifestations of gods. Although they are not inherently evil, if they are brought into our realm without true reason, then the whole universe will suffer prematurely. You see, Anuel, the harvest is an event that helps entities move on to their next stage of spiritual evolution. Those who lean towards self service to self ultimately end up repeating important life lessons, such as compassion and unity, until the lesson is learned. We are all connected. We all exist here together. Learning to respect and empathize with others is the true meaning of existence. Service to others is the key for that spiritual growth. In regards to the Titans, to put it simply, the duty of the Titans is to restore natural balance to the universe. Negative can never be completely eradicated, as it is the key catalyst for positive change. Think about this for a moment. If there is no negative in this universe, how would we appreciate the positive? How would the thought of change enter our minds without lessons and examples? Unfortunately, when the universe was built an excess of negativity, the opportunity for positive growth is halted. All entities deserve a choice. Too much negativity restricts natural positive growth. As I had mentioned to you earlier, I have reasons to believe that this harvest was induced unnaturally. It was partly my own fault. I had decided to act selfishly. Orcas was able to take advantage of this and contact the gods. <laughs> Which is a little ironic considering that this guy calls himself Apollo. There's some irony there of some kind. These actions are what brought this certain harvest upon us. Apollo had sought out the Titans. We hoped that he could resurrect my sister Myru. Th this is all so much to take in. I know it can seem like a lot of information, but these are the fundamentals of our universe. Destroying Titans or killing in general is viewed cosmically as a negative action. Unfortunately, it is sometimes necessary for self-defense. We need you to destroy the Titans. You survived the last harvest somehow. I think that you are one of the only entities capable of producing such large changes. We can't force you to do anything. It's up to you whether you follow the path we set out for you. Be aware, Anuel. All of our actions are monitored. If you perform bad deeds, expect the same in return. It is the law of nature, like karma. 
Oh my god, goodness. Well, we are going. Oopsie. Not gonna fire lasers. We are gonna stop that. My hands are so sweaty and this room is so hot. We're gonna stop the episode there. Uh, I think it's an excellent spot, uh, spot to stop. We have received a distress beacon, so maybe we'll go pursue that on the next episode. Um, so, whatever you guys do, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye!